Busy day on the football front. It is transfer deadline day and uh, we think it's going to be hectic. Here's Aidan McGee with what is happening already so far today. Yeah, fast out of the blocks this morning. A real heartwarming story, I would say, as well. You mentioned just off, uh, off air just then. Christian Eriksen signing for Brentford. We all remember that situation last summer, don't we? We were watching the Euros. It was Denmark against Hungary, I think it was. And we suddenly the game comes to a, to a halt because Christian Eriksen has collapsed somewhere in the pitch out of camera shot. Quite quickly, we see it's a serious situation. There's a, a wall of players, Denmark players, led by Simon Scher and the goalkeeper, Kasper Schmeichel of, of Leicester, of course, the captain. His girlfriend was on the scene as well. She's by the touchline. We all didn't know what was going to happen. I mean, we thought he was going to... It was a possibility the worst might happen. We, re we really did. We certainly didn't think that within seven, eight months, he'd be back playing in the Premier League. The issue was that he was fitted with a defibrillator and that prohibits him from continuing his career in Italy. The rules are slightly different there. So Denmark, who... who sorry, Brentford, who have a strong connection with Denmark. Obviously, their manager is uh, Thomas Frank. They have a, a lot of people in their backroom staff who have connections in Copenhagen. <laughs> they've swooped to sign, or swooped, as it will be only here on deadline day, isn't it? <laughs> uh, they've swooped to sign Christian Eriksen. They brought him in. They think he's a low risk, um, a low risk signing. But he's there to the end of the season. He's been given quotes the end of the season. The thing would have been to get insurance for him, wouldn't it? Yeah, exactly. Well, a work permit's an issue now uh, as well. Now we're outside of the, the EU. But they think they can done that. They, this, I should say this deal is subject to international clearance. But he's 29 years old. Two years ago, this was one of the best players in the world. There's no question about that. We kind of lose sight of when they go to Italy. Yeah. Two, I mean, in fact, two years ago, he went to Syria. Uh, we kind of get outside the Premier League bubble. We lose track of what they're doing. But he was doing well for, for Inter. He was going to do well for Denmark. They, of course, got to the semi-finals without him. Who knows what they could have done with him in the side. But a great coup for, uh, for Brentford. And it suits him coming back to London, an area he knows well. Yeah, we wish him very well after Absolutely. everything he's been through.